Hey guys, it's Mark here from Photo Buddy Labs, and in this video, I will show you how to create a spotlight effect in Canva in two minutes. Please watch the video to the end so you don't miss any important steps. And so, without any further ado, let's get straight into this. Okay, let's jump straight in here and create a canvas. Okay, so just a nice blank canvas. I'm going to use this one as a portrait shape, and the photo I'm going to use. Is this one here works great for these uh, type of photos. I'm going to stretch the photo out. So it takes up the full canvas and make sure it's in the middle. Okay, then I'm going to click over onto elements and I'm going to click on the search bar and I'm going to search for square frame. Okay, so let's click there and then I'm going to just scroll that along here and click on frames and then I'm going to use this square frame here it may be that your photo you might want to use a, a round frame or, or one with curved edges but for this example we're going to use that one and I'm going to size it so it just takes up his head okay I'm going to put that in the middle make it just a little bit bigger There we go. So I'm going to put that there like so. Next thing I want to do is click back onto photos and I'm going to drag the photo, the same photo, into the frame. Okay, now what we want to do is click, double click inside the frame. So we're selecting the photo inside and we want to resize the photo inside. Carefully, don't just click it once. Otherwise, you'll be just resizing the frame. We actually want to resize the actual contents of the frame, the photo. And what we're going to try and do here is drag it out so it matches over the original photo. Okay, so if I drag that there like that, drag that up and drag it over, it should line up pretty well. Doesn't matter if it's not exact because we won't actually see the the bottom bit anyway. So it's just his head, but that looks pretty good. And if we click off, and then you shouldn't see any difference there. So the frame is still there uh, because it all matches up. It looks like it's the same photo. So the next thing I want to do, I want to click on the first photo. So I'm going to click down here. So that's selected and then I'm going to click on edit image and then where it says adjust I'm going to click on see all so we get all the adjustment settings I'm going to turn the brightness down and again these settings really depend on your photo and how dark you want this bottom area to be so I'm going to try that and bring the contrast down a little bit as well Right, let's try actually bring the contrast up there a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And then this uh, so here, the vignette setting, we're going to bring up, and then that will you can start to see um, a dark shadow around the edge. And again, you might want to adjust as you're going along just to get the best sort of effect. And then also further down, there's a shadow setting. Okay, so you might want to bring that down just to bring out the shadows a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Um, then anyway, when you've clicked off it, of course, you can always click back into there, edit image, and you know play with the settings again if you're not quite happy with it but I think I think that looks pretty good for our example okay so the next thing that I want to do is click back on elements and I'm going to type in um, neon so 
square okay and then we're going to click on this one here okay and then we're going to align that up around the edge so it takes away the border okay i just want to keep his fingers in there okay and then with this neon frame you can actually change the color so um, although i do actually like the, the gold uh, on that one but if i click on it and then click on you've got two colors you've got the main color and then the um inside color as well so we can change both of those and then the great thing about canva is when you click on the colors it actually brings in some of the colors that you're using in the design already so it's picked up these colors here that are from the photo so if i click on one of those now as you can see it's pulling it matches and blends in with the photo a little bit but for the neon frame you might want to keep it nice and bright that looks pretty good so we've got a bright um inside and outside border with the light purple uh, in the middle so that guys is how to do a spotlight effect in canva in just two minutes if you're new to the channel please go down below and consider subscribing and when you've done that consider leaving a like as well we really do appreciate it and so until the next tutorial guys see you soon